Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 100. On day number 96, we begin discussing the notion of units of measurements, how to go about converting metric units into English units and English units into metric units. Today we'll do, we'll do a couple of problems for practice. Today is, the, today is the last video in the series of five videos from 96 to 100. And today also happens to be the very last day of the first part of the series, the level one problem. It's starting from 101, we'll begin doing some problems dealing with a little bit more of a difficult concepts. But today is the last video, as I said, day one through 100. Here's the question. We are told that gasoline Gasoline cost 150 yen per liter. 150 yen per liter. Question is, what is the approximate cost in dollar per gallon in the U.S. We of course spend dollars and we buy our gasoline not by the liter but by the gallon so if you were to go to Japan and if you find out that the gasoline over there costs 80 yen per liter well you have to be able to get some sense as to what that amount what is what that amounts to in what you're used to which is how much how many dollars is that for a gallon of gasoline because that, that gives me idea as to how expensive or how cheap it is let's find out shall we they do tell you the problem tells you that one dollar one dollar equals 80 yen. That is given. What I want you to do is pause the video, do it yourself, and then once you have done it yourself, then compare your work against the work that we will do together in a few seconds time. Go ahead and do it. Pause it and pause the video. Well, they tell us that it's 150 liters for one, one 150 yen for one liter. One liter cost 1 liter cost 150 yen well we know there are 4 liters in a gallon that we do know we have we know that we have to know that basic stuff that there are 4 liters 4 liters approximately make a 1 gallon not exactly but approximately and approximate is all we are looking for so if 1 liter costs 150 yen that implies that 4 liters will cost 4 times as much 4 liters, 4 liters cost 150 times 4, which is 600 yen. But we're not interested in yen, we want it in dollars. So that's all it is, we just have to convert 600 yen into dollars. And 600 yen, we know 80 yen, 80 yen make a dollar. So that's going to cancel out the yen, and we're left with 600 over 80. Where can we do it? Let's do it here, 600 over 80. Where can we do it? 600 over 80. That's very simple, very straightforward. Divide top and bottom by 10. That zero is going to cancel out. And now we simply have to divide 60 by 8. How many 8s in a 60? You have to know your tables obviously. You have to know your timetables. We know 8 8s are 64. 8 8 8s are 64 which means 8 7s must be 8 7s must be 8 less than 64. Instead of 8 8s we have 7 8s. 64 minus, 64 minus 8 would be 56. 64 minus 4 is 60 and another 4 would be 56. So that will be 7. That will be 7. 7 8s are 56. 7 is a 56. That means we have a remainder of 4. We have a remainder of 4. That 4 needs to be divided by 8. 7 and 4 8 of course is same as 7 and a half. Turns out it costs 7 and a half dollars per gallon. Seven and a half dollars per gallon, quite expensive, almost twice as expensive as what we pay here. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. High speed train, high speed train. between 
packaging and Shanghai, high speed train between Beijing and Shanghai, two of the largest cities in China. We are told reach 500 kilometers per hour. Now 500 kilometers per hour doesn't really do anything for us. We need to know how many miles is that per hour. That's the only way I'm going to get some sense out of it as to how fast or how slow this, this bloody thing is. How do we go about converting 500 kilometers per hour into miles per hour? Let's find out, shall we? In other words, how many miles in 500 kilometers? Let's find out. Let's find out. We learned on day number 96 that 1.6 kilometers 1.6 kilometers is about one mile. We learned it. We have to know this by heart. This basic fact we have to know by heart. Therefore, if you want to multiply both sides by 10, if you want to multiply both sides by 10, that tells us that 16 kilometers is about 10 miles. It's about 10 miles. Multiply that again by 10. I'm making it too complicated. We could have multiplied by 100. Let's multiply it by 100. And that tells us that 160 kilometers is about 100 miles. 160 kilometers is 100, 100 miles. We, the train is not going at 160 kilometers per hour. It is going 500 kilometers per hour. As it is, this is already 100 miles. Let's add one, another 160 kilometers to it. And that will make it, if we add another 160 kilometers to it, we get 320 kilometers and that will be 200 miles but still not close we want 500 let's add another 160 480 kilometer turns out is approximately 300 miles 300 miles therefore our question was how fast is the train going high speed train between Shanghai and Beijing reach 500 kilometers per 500 kilometers per hour is approximately 300 miles per hour 300 miles per hour as you can see they're not fooling around whereas where else the so-called high speed train that they are working on in the US from Washington to Boston I'm told they've been working for working on it for God knows how long from Washington DC to New York to Boston and their idea of high-speed train is a train that breaks 100 miles per hour 100 miles per hour will qualify as a high-speed train in the US in, in China the trains from Beijing to Shanghai reach a speed of 300 miles per hour times have changed we live in a different world now it's not the same world that existed 30 years ago somebody has to wake up I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.